a comprehensive look at trends, fund profiles, and more in exploring ETFs. Clean energy ETFs are among the top performers so far this year, 2020. We're going to find out why with our ETF research director, Nina Mishra, who joins me here. So uh, for me, um, I'm having a little bit of a difficult time understanding why, because gas prices, oil prices are low. Yes, yes. So this is a bit surprising. Clean energy funds, clean energy companies, over the past decade, they were very volatile because their performance was largely related to government subsidies and oil prices. Mm -hmm. When oil prices went up, these stocks did well. When oil prices were down, they did not perform well. But over the past year or so, these have done really well uh, despite low oil prices and withdrawal of many federal government support uh, programs too. Uh, and one of the reasons is that we have seen a lot of interest in these environment uh, ESG funds, environment social and governance focused funds, yeah. sustainable funds, especially younger investors like those um, kind of stocks and ETFs. And the bigger reason is that the cost of renewable energy has been coming down with technological innovation. In fact, uh, just the other day, last week, I was reading an article in the Wall Street Journal that solar energy now costs less uh, to generate than coal in India. Wow. And that, that is really big. So because the price has coming price has been coming down, they, the competitive balance between the traditional energy, traditional sources of energy, and these alternative sources of energy has changed. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, investors should remember that they have been very volatile over the past decade. And also some of these funds have a lot of small cap and international exposure. So that is why they should be prepared for slightly more volatile you know, exposure than the broader indexes. And one more thing about the performance, I should mention that Tesla is a constituent in some of these funds. So Tesla's oh, <laughs> spectacular see. performance has also driven the uh, rise in some of these ETFs. Okay, well, let's take a look at three of them here that mm -hmm. you want us to, to be aware of. Invesco Solar ETF is the first one. So the ticker is TAN, easy to remember. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it holds solar energy company, and as, as I mentioned, uh, solar energy has become really competitive and, uh, you know, cheap to generate. Uh, has an expense ratio of 71 basis points, 670 million in assets, up more than 30% this year itself. Mm. Uh, and this was one of the top performing ETFs last year too. Uh, so to take a look at this ETF, you can go to the code page from there, the external home page in Vesco. And uh, this holds uh, companies, uh, uh, American companies, ADRs, GDRs, you will get international exposure in this fund, uh, which are involved in the solar energy generation. Now, if you look at the portfolio, 58% uh, is information technology, then utilities, industrials, and real estate. U.S. is about 50% of the ETF, and rest is international. That investors should remember, and they should also note that a lot of mid-cap and small-cap exposure in the fund. Looking at the top holdings, it is a market-cap-weighted ETF. So uh, you will see that companies like Enphase Energy, Solar Edge Technologies, they account for more than 22% uh, of the portfolio. Enphase Energy is up more than 500% over the past year. <laughs> Solar oh. Edge is up more than 200% over the past year. So these companies are driving the performance of this ETF. Yes, it's probably one of the few areas not being impacted by the coronavirus. Yes, yeah, not so far. It has a grip on the market today, <laughs> yeah. as a matter of mm -hmm. fact. All right, Invesco Wilder Hill Clean Energy ETF is the next one. Uh, the ticker is PBW. This holds North American companies, U.S. and Canadian companies. Uh, no, sorry, 
uh, this holds U.S. listed companies uh, which are uh, involved in the advancement of clean energy and uh, conservation, uh, 70 basis points in expense ratio and 366 million in assets. This is also up almost 30 percent this year. Mm. To take a look at the CTF, I can go to the quote page, external home page. Uh, so this holds companies that are listed in the United States. I, I said Canada, that is for the next ETF, not for this one. Okay. Uh, so just U.S. listed companies, so you will not get a lot of international exposure in this ETF. Uh, information technology, 37, 30%, industrials about 37%. And if you look at the top holdings, and phase energy is about 4%. Now this is modified equal weighted, so the, there is uh, not much single company risk. Uh, Tesla is about more than 4% uh, of the portfolio, so that is another reason mm -hmm. for this. Uh, the fund's spectacular performance and FACE is the top holding in the ETF. So now totally a clean energy pure play Yes. because of Tesla. Yeah, it is t because Tesla is involved in the advancement of clean energy, being right. an electric, uh, you know, vehicle manufacturer. Okay, and then uh, the Canadian one, Alps Clean Energy ETF. The ticker is uh, ACES. Uh, it holds North American companies uh, in the clean energy industry, cheapest of the three, and also smallest of the three. This is also up almost 30 percent year to date. So U.S. and Canadian companies. U.S. and Canadian. So again, you can take a look by going to the quote page and external home page using the link. So it holds U.S. and Canadian companies that operate in the clean energy sector. Uh, now to take a look at the portfolio and holdings, uh, Tesla is a top holding more than 10% of the portfolio. <laughs> and phase again, almost uh, about a uh, little more than 9%. So these are the top holdings that are driving the performance of this fund. Uh, wind, about 27% of the portfolio. Solar, about 21% of the portfolio. All right, let's see what all this performance looks like on a chart. So on this slide, I have the competitive performance of these three funds over the past year compared with the S&P 500 index. So looking at the one-year performance, uh, S&P 500 is up about 21% over the past year with all the you know declines that we saw in the past couple of days, mm. um, three, four days. Whereas these funds, they are up between uh, almost 59% and 66% over the past year. All right, so this outperformance, I have to ask you, this outperformance began in 2019, mm -hmm. continued on into mm -hmm. 2020. Here mm -hmm. we are, February 24th, mm -hmm. 2020. Mm -hmm. You expect this outperformance to keep going through the year? Uh, it is very difficult to predict what is going to continue to perform well. But as I mentioned, that the, because of the change in the competitive balance between the traditional sources of energy and alternative source of, sources of energy, uh, these companies now have a much brighter future mm. compared to, say, over the past few years. Uh, but again, investors should remember that these are going to be more volatile than the broad market indexes. All right, do you own either of the ones we talked about? We do, I do not. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. And don't forget, there is always more ETF information. It's on our website, zax.com. Go to the home page, use the funds tab in the top toolbar. It will help guide you to a lot of articles and other data pertaining to the ETF sector. And also, if you want to um, hear more about other ETF topics, trends, analysis, Nina produces and hosts a weekly podcast uh, on a lot of ETF subjects. That's also on our website. You go to the zax.com homepage and scroll all the way to the bottom. You can click on the word podcast and it will help take you to those. Also, you can now get advance notice of positive earnings surprises from Zax. Zax Research Breakthrough predicting currently with about 80% accuracy uh, which stocks are going to be beating earnings expectations even before their reports are released. 
we're wrapping up the Q4 earnings season now, but if you want to get ahead of the Q1 season and see what's coming through, what stocks are coming through the, uh, the screens, all you want to do is go to zax.com slash promo, and you can get complete details on this offering. With Nina, I'm Terry Ruffalo.